Hey, and welcome to Just Chevy Trucks and LSX for you. We're actually out back in the lab where the two fellas sit here and spin copper into gold, making the standalone harnesses. And actually, what is it you're working on today, Mike? We actually made a standalone transfer case. Okay. Push button. Okay, this is the NP8. Focus in on that. 2002, which means this would support 1999 to 2002. I'm sure you guys could probably do the 2003 and newer, the next uh, generation of these. Uh, NP8 is the one, the, the case that has that controller, the auto 4x4. In fact, I see you put it in neutral. Yes. Um, what else have you got here? What's that, the actual module for it? We got the module for it. Yeah. We have, we just have a standalone harness right now that we've powered up just so that we can get the communication loop. Otherwise we can't get into four wheel low. It needs to know that it's in neutral. Okay, so basically what you're saying is, is if you bought a standalone LS harness, this would also extend to a Duramax, I believe, uh, an 8.1, which those are not LS engines, but the harnesses are similar yes. as far as control and controlling. This is an NP8. Um, they're found mostly in half-ton pickups with the auto button. A lot of the SUVs, uh, the, what is it? What is the ones that come in the Duramax, the three button and the HDs? Would be an NP1. Okay, we will be working on those next. I'm pretty excited about this because what this is going to do for you and for us, is you'll be able to order one of our standalone harnesses and say, yes, I'd like to extend this. Right now we ask you, okay, we're going to craft a uh, harness that will control your engine. Now it is also going to control, or we offer you transmission control. What are you gonna run? Now we can go one step farther back and say, all right, what do you wanna run for a transfer case? Obviously some of the old manual floor shifted transfer cases we could still use with modern transmissions, uh, or you can go with the push button variety now. So let's, uh, let's hear this bad Larry work. Okay. This is the motor. For you at home there's a little shifter in there go ahead okay we're actually we're in we're in neutral so we'll go back into two-wheel drive okay i'm right. going to spin this it's still the clutches it'll spin the front but yep. it is okay and then what now we can shift into two high or four high oh it just got tougher to do i kind of like four low better uh. now we'll go four low okay now we're uh. four low much easier i like four wall and if you're an off-road enthusiast so do you so this stuff is all pretty much our bread and butter our ecm uh it's when i say our that's a gm harness a gm ecm we just rework it we actually remove what you don't need emissions stuff like that we've done these projects for people out in california successfully um, where they left evap they left ac um, lsx for you give them a call they can craft whatever you need or whatever you want. This is beautiful because, in fact, we're talking about doing it here, taking an old crew cab square body and possibly putting an 8.1 in it, an LS engine, or even a Duramax, running an Allison transmission, and then we call it an Allison transfer case just because this opening is so much bigger for the Allison, but it is essentially an NP1. So if this is something you think you want to do, we can work with you. I've got Mike and Eddie back here. Again, the little elves that spin copper into gold. Give us a call at LSX for you and just Chevy trucks. The number is 207 457 5500. And boy, is this going to be good.